today uh, the our lesson is uh, how can ice cover of the arctic ocean have influence on the weather to europe why this uh, title of this lesson uh, general questions concerned today's lesson is uh, why on the edu arctic portal in the monitoring part we present the current ice condition in the arctic uh, every day where or every week when you send the some data from the uh, the monitoring system, you have possibility checking the uh, current ice condition on the north. Uh, changing of the ice cover in the Arctic have not only uh, has a huge impact on the weather and circulation, but also is influenced to the lives of many biological species. Consequently, it is important not only for the Arctic and also for the uh, European sector of the Arctic. And uh, how is uh, the now the Arctic? On the Arctic uh, in the winter, we have the double type of ice. We have the glacier and also we have the ice on the uh, see the, uh, how many uh, ice we have totally. Uh, the ice cap and glacier on the Arctic is not so much. This is uh, more 2 million square kilometer, but the thickness is uh, very bigger. The mean thickness on the Greenland, we have one 1700 meter and the maximum of the thickness on the Greenland is more 3000 meters. Uh, when you check uh, this um, uh, glacier the volume is the bigger and uh, when you check the sea ice the uh, sea ice covered much more bigger area uh, the, um, every year is uh, the ice covered not on the same area. The uh, variability of the uh, ice on the uh, water, on the sea, we have between 14 to 17 million square kilometer. This situation we have on the end of the winter, on the March. And the uh, ice uh, on the sea melting on the summertime. Uh, we on the sometime, uh, sometimes on the September we have the some minimum of the uh, ice uh, sea ice on the uh, uh, Arctic Ocean. This is approximately between four to five million square kilometer. Where we going next on the next slide, uh, you have possibility to see when ice on the ocean will be completely melt, completely disappeared. We have possibility uh, observing where we have the uh, ice cap and glacier. This is not so much. Here we have the Greenland, here we have the Svalbard, Novaya Zemla, uh, uh, Northern Island, and uh, partly in Canada and partly in Alaska. This is big area, uh, area without ice, maybe on the future. Uh, the loss uh, of the sea ice in the uh, Arctic, particularly on the summer, uh, causes a dramatic reduction uh, of the uh, surface albedo. Because uh, you know, when uh, we have the ice and snow, 
the sun radiation uh, coming from the sun and uh, this sun uh, radiation uh, changing to the energy where we have the uh, where we have not ice and not snow the more 90 percent changing for the energy and heating ground water and also air where we have the snow and ice this is a big uh, red, uh, reduction the albedo is uh, much higher only sometimes 20 30 percent uh, have changing to the uh, uh, heat. Uh, paradoxically, the warm Arctic uh, can uh, mean heavy snow and blizzards and freezing rain in Europe. How come? Uh, ice much reflected uh, the sun uh, rays, much stronger than water surface. Uh, which is uh, why areas free of ice and snow get warmer faster. Uh, you, you know, when uh, we receiving from the sea ice uh, situation with not uh, covered by us, by ice, the water have possibility much easy evaporates. Uh, more uh, easily and uh, this uh, water which evaporated uh, uh, changing uh, on the air masses places and we are receiving much more rain or, or snow for uh, other area and uh, when you checking uh, how much uh, water evaporated from the uh, surface of the sea this is huge bigger the mean uh, on the mean uh, ocean the one meter per year evaporated you you see how many water uh, the air mass uh, transported uh, between the uh, Arctic uh, to the Europe or uh, from the Europe to the Arctic and uh, when we are see how uh, is big seasonal change of the uh, ice on the Arctic uh, on this picture we present uh, the situation on the uh, beginning of the uh, satellite images observation on the 80s this is the first uh, satellite images uh, which we are using for the analyzing how changing the ice cover on the arctic uh, ocean uh, the, uh, here on this picture you have the situation on the beginning of april on the 1980s you see the many many area uh, are freezing here on the picture you have also possibility uh, checking where we have the ice cap and the glacier you see this is not so much this is much more we have the sea ice on the end of the uh, season on the summer season because uh, on the summer we have 24 hours the sun radiation in this area the lot of the ice melt and disappeared this is situation on the uh, beginning of september of 80s this is uh, previous time uh, we have the past um, 50 years ago and uh, uh, now you have possibility checking how fast this uh, uh, ice melting on the uh, arctic ocean uh, the first picture presented uh, the situation on the 
12th of June, you see the partly the ice was melt and is uh, is huge on the beginning of the uh, summer and uh, here we have uh, situation on the 7th of September you see how many ice melting for the shorter uh, period uh, from the this three months we are losing the ice from more 7 million square kilometer this is bigger area and uh, last 40 years we are observing the how fast changing the uh, ice on the arctic uh, ocean how much uh, we are losing uh, of the ice there's some minimum absolute minimum of the ice cover we are noted on the uh, uh, 2012 you see this situation we have on the beginning uh, of uh, april and this situation we have uh, on the beginning of september on beginning of the april the we, the total area with ice was 16 million square kilometer on the end of the summer season we have total area with uh, sea ice only three and a half million square kilometer this is big difference between the uh, end of the winter and uh, end of the summer we are losing more 13 million square kilometer on the ocean here you have possibility comparing this this uh, the satellite images between uh, 80s and 2012 you see how many open water we are uh, we have here you know now why we have much more rain on the north of scandinavia and sometimes on the uh, middle latitude in the europe because this bigger area open water area have possibility evaporating much more comparing this situation on the 80s and here i uh, present you the animation how changes this uh, sea ice on the arctic between 2011 and 2013 you see here uh, on on the screen you have the some date and now we are going to the uh, presentation oh. we will be start you see how ice freezing how the the water freezing and on the which per places first and where we have the some process of the melting on the summer season now we are going on the 2012 on the end of the summer season you see is some lower and again the water freezing generally from this animation this is animation from the satellite images you have possibility checking the lost we are losting much more ice in the european sector of the arctic and also on the uh, east siberian seas
and how we have situation now. In this year, on the September, the ice covered Arctic Ocean approximately uh, for the 4 million square kilometer. On the end of March, we have not so much. We have approximately 13 million square kilometer. Here is market of the uh, ice, mean ice from the uh, cover from the last uh, 50 years. You see, it's generally on the summer, we the area of the sea ice is lower comparing mean. The, uh, on the uh, winter time, it's not so big dramatic change. We have the lot of the area covered from this same uh, places. Here I present the graphs how changing the uh, ice cover from the last uh, 10 years. You have possibility checking. Here we have the minimum in 2012. Also we have the uh, second minimum in 2007. And in this year is the minimum of the ice cover is not so uh, dramatic. And you have possibility changing the now in this year the sum minimum we noted on the not on the beginning of September we are noted on the August and you know why we have now long uh, autumn in Euro, uh, in the Europe we have not so much uh, low temperature because the lot of, um, of area on the Arctic have long period to the middle uh, of November have not so much ice. Now we are observing the much more faster uh, freezing water and probably we receiving in this year m m the more snow on the Christmas time and also on the Janu uh, January and uh, February. This is picture presented the global sea current. The, uh, on the, the all ocean have connection from the sea current. On the lower part of the bottom of uh, oceans they we observing uh, cold water flow on the surface we observing the uh, flow of the hot water and you uh, have possibility different places here we have the arctic ocean and you see only on the European sector of the Atlantic Ocean, we have the gate to the Arctic. This gate from the uh, between Asia and uh, America uh, uh, in the uh, this passage is not so deep. This hot water have not possibility much coming to to the arctic ocean here we have much more open possibility uh, generally in the uh, uh, between the greenland and svalbard this is one passet and second passet is here on to the barents sea how is this flux of this water. Uh, sometimes we observe noting the uh, variability of the uh, this sea current of the northern Atlantic. Uh, the meteorologists 
talking high north uh, uh, Atlantic oscillation index. We have situation where the many of the uh, hot water uh, coming to the Arctic Ocean on this way and also on this way. Uh, now, this situation we have, we observe, we are noting on, uh, noted on the uh, Atlantic uh, uh, Ocean on the between 2000 to 2012. And now we have much more lower flux of the heat water to the Arctic Ocean. This is low North Atlantic oscillation index. Why we are talking uh, concern this uh, variability? Because this variability has big impact also to the weather of the Europe. And also this variability created the uh, ice on the uh, Arctic Ocean, where we have big flux of the hot water to the Arctic, the uh, ice on the sea melting much more faster, and also the uh, hot water have easily uh, more possibility evaporating. When we have the lower situation, the ice will be coming to also to the Atlantic uh, Ocean and also this water where have not so much high temperature the evaporation is much lower. Uh, this important places on the North Atlantic domain uh, was investigated by the many countries and the many vessels. Also, the Polish vessel every year made the, some transect and measuring the salinity and the temperature on the seawater on the uh, these places. How is the result? Of, of this investigation. When you check the temperature on uh, 100 meter depth, because the, uh, on the ocean we have a lot of the waves, we have the uh, wind impact. The, for the stable measure, uh, the temperature, uh, water temperature, the uh, norma is uh, measuring on the 100 meter deep. Where are you checking? The, we have the long uh, time the series. I present you now the um, result of uh, the um, beginning of this century. You see, this is we have the normal situation, and every year the flux of the hot water from this gate to the Arctic is other. Some bigger flux we are receiving on 2006 and also on the 2011. This is this big flux of the hot water uh, have effects the ice on the Arctic melting much uh, faster and for much bigger area. And uh, also you have on this graph the uh, anomalies of the temperature current on this Arctic. You see the on 2006 we noted big anomalies on the Spitsbergen. Uh, many countries uh, observing uh, and uh, research made the, some uh, research on the Arctic Ocean. For example, the research vessel 
the Norwegian research vessel Lance uh, is frozen on the Arctic Ocean between 2014 and 2015. You see the uh, ice covered many area around the vessel. It's much easy uh, for investigating some how is deep of this ice and how is uh, polluted this uh, ice. Here it's much easy going to the uh, ice pack and also to the ice by the researcher. Uh, the, is this uh, possibilities is much better uh, comparing the long uh, trip transported by the helicopters for the uh, area where we are investigating and uh, or by plane and uh, this is one action the Russian colleagues uh, made every year the, some special camp on the ice because the uh, ice on the Arctic Ocean moving on the season from the Siberia to the uh, Canadian part of the Arctic. And uh, Russian colleague established uh, uh, since Second World War every year the camp it is now the camp have number 40 and you see situation on the 2007 on the uh, 7th of June the uh, Russian icebreaker take the scientist and made camp for these places on the uh, Siberian seas. This normally from the many years from uh, uh, is experience the camp have possibility existing one year or more one year. On this uh, year 2007 the ice melting much more quickly and also the, uh, the ice moving also much more uh, faster. On the 22nd of August, this is, you see, this is uh, one and a half months later, we have dramatic situation because the ice disappeared, disappeared very fast. You see the situation of this camp. There's a lot of the open water. You see here the some containers is uh, near the water. We must rescue this team of the investigators very quickly. This is situation uh, evacuation on the uh, 13th of the August. Also, the Poland uh, have the research training vessel, which every year going to the Arctic, and uh, sometimes we this is uh, our vessel. This vessel have the um, possibility to take the 20 students. Uh, for the training and also 20 researchers. The, the vessel is uh, 55 meter long and high uh, approximately 18 meters. Here you have possibility to see the ice uh, barrier on the Hans Glacier. Sometimes the vessel much crossing for uh, uh, on the heavy ice pack also on the um, Atlantic uh, North Atlantic and on the Barent Sea you have this situation on 2004 
We are talking concern the variability uh, of the uh, currents uh, on the uh, on the northern hemisphere. You, I uh, compare it to you how uh, the high North Atlantic oscillation have the influence to the Europe uh, to the weather in the Europe. And uh, for the and also uh, this is warm phase and the cold phase and uh, for the much bigger you have possibility see much better this situation when we have the warm phase you we observing the lot of the open water on the Arctic uh, Ocean and we have the low pressure center from this situation you see to Europe we uh, receiving lot of the uh, air with the uh, water we have much more rain in the this part of the Europe on the Central Europe, we receiving much more rain. And uh, on the uh, uh, Africa, we receiving also lower temperature for this. South of Europe receiving much more rain and uh, uh, possibility some events of the flood. And you see here we have the hot water on the Antla uh, Atlantic and also the hot water on the Arctic Ocean. For other phase from the cold phase we have the situation where we have more ice on the Arctic Ocean. We have the high pressure on the North Pole and you see we are receiving the lot of the uh, water with air and many precipitation on the south of the Europe. We receiving also much more coldest air masses uh, from the Siberia to the Central Europe and we have extremely uh, hot uh, summer on the north of Africa. Now you know how is big impact between the ice uh, on the Arctic Ocean, how big influence have this ice to the European uh, weather. Its uh, other element is this uh, polar vortex. That generally on the Arctic we have very low temperature. This uh, temperature, uh, uh, the border of the lower arc masses is the uh, made the jet stream. The jet stream, this is strong wind, approximately 100 uh, kilometer per hour, and this uh, uh, jet stream sometimes changing the direction. Why? Because the polar vortex where we have the much more circular uh, uh, ice on the North Pole, the polar vortex is also circular. Where is uh, the uh, ice covered not much more circular and partly we have very strong ice on the Siberia uh, and or in uh, Canada uh, we receiving the oblate uh, uh, circular and the polar vortex changing the direction you uh, see how, what happened when the polar uh, when the jet stream going much more to the south of the US in the North America 
we receiving very uh, strange winter with lot of snow and a lot of the temperature you this situation we observing uh, last three years and uh, also where this uh, jet stream were uh, going regularly around the arctic circle we have the uh, good uh, winter with uh, no so much rain with uh, not so much low temperature and uh, how changing the surface of the ice in the arctic this uh, on the march i told you before we have the 15 million square kilometer on the uh, summer this uh, lot of this ice disappeared and uh, since uh, 2000 uh, uh, since uh, 1972 every uh, decade we are losing the approximately over 3% three, 3 of the ice within 10 years the sea ice is falling until about 300,000 square kilometer this is almost the area of in Poland and in the uh, recent years uh, will be where this process is going continually will be we are losing the ice on the arctic on the next uh, uh, century how is the ice on the sea this is other ice which we are observing on the glacier you see the ice on the where the uh, seawater start for the freezing here this is ice between uh, the glacier and some bay here we have the big ice uh, also on the other part of the arctic and uh, on the sea we are observing also the ice from the glacier this is big uh, growlers from the glacier only one uh, only one of seven of uh, part the uh, is on sea level the other part is bottom of the surface of the ice this you see this is uh, ice pack and some glowers with the polar bears and here other and where we have ice on the surface we have possibility easy met the polar bears walrus and seals and where is open uh, water is also the di diagram presented how changing the element of the chemical compounds between atmosphere and open uh, ocean is this migration of the many particles we observing where we have not ice on the surface is also uh, the generally um, we have um, possibility uh, observing highly coupling couplet between the atmosphere terrestrial ecology and deep sea water this only the ice is its border for this process and changing the many pro processes on the also on the our area probably reasons the uh, higher melting air surface this is a result of the global warming increased inflow of the warm atlantic waters to the arctic uh, intensified uh, atmospheric circulation this is faster drift of the ice pack 
and smaller albedo due to surface saturation of the snow uh, and ice water created this uh, situation. You see where the sun radiation going to the ice. This is here the march where the ice melt. This is more sun radiation coming to the open water. And how is uh, important of effects? The thickness of ice on the Arctic Ocean is mm, reduced more 40 percent. I forget told you the ice on the Arctic the thickness is not so big. This uh, on the 40, 50 years ago, we have the mean thickness three meters, only three meters. Now we have uh, the thickness uh, approximately two meters. You know, this ice is uh, uh, thin ice uh, have possibility uh, disappeared much more faster. And uh, also we have the other effects for the economic effects, shortest transport via north passages, uh, extraction of uh, raw materials, and also a lot of the uh, touristic vessel going to the Arctic is dramatically changing. This is a negative process and this is positive process for us. And also uh, the impact of the thermal condition of the region of the uh, northern hemisphere changing uh, when the ice uh, reduced for the next time. And also where you checking the how uh, where we have the very this is situation on the uh, beginning of the January. You see the 2007, we have not snow cover on the Europe. You remember 2007 on the September, we have the one of the minimum of the ice. The consequently on the beginning of the next winter, you see we have much more snow also on the southern part of the Europe. This is situation 2007. Also the second minimum we have on the 2012. You see here uh, we have situation on uh, end of the 2013. Europe is without snow and after uh, hot uh, summer and also where we have the smaller area on the arctic we are observing the next winter in the europe much more stronger especially on the balkanian we uh, countries we are receiving heavy snow this you know why the arctic creating the weather to the europe and not only for the Europe and generally the, I, uh, the Arctic ice uh, cover created uh, the weather on the northern hemisphere. Thank you for your attention and uh, we are invited to you to the Arctic, maybe for the next uh, competition.